A longtime employee of Lions, Tigers and Bears needs your help tonight. An accident forced her and her family out of their home. CBS 8's Tim Blodgett has her story from the East County. For Tina Emanuel, working at Lions, Tigers and Bears in Alpine is the perfect job. I've been collecting tigers since the early 90s and um, has these big statues and little all kinds of tiger stuff. I always like tigers. She was here Wednesday afternoon doing her typical office work when she got a distressed call. And I got a call from my daughter um, that a truck had gone off the freeway right into the house. Wednesday morning, the driver of a work truck cruising down the 8 East near El Cajon had a medical emergency behind the wheel. The truck sped down the embankment through the chain link fence and plowed into the side of Tina's mobile home of 10 years. At the time, her mom and daughter were in the house. My mom was stuck in, the, in, her, in her bedroom that she couldn't get out. The firemen had to break down the door to get her out. Our cat didn't, I don't know, we can't find our cat. So we don't know where she's at. The mother, daughter, and person driving the truck were all unharmed. Tina's home, on the other hand, completely unlivable. Though the hole where the truck had driven through has been boarded up, it took out the foundation. Code enforcement has red tagged the entire building, meaning Tina and her family can't even go back to collect their belongings. It's probably all gone because stuff flew. It literally just flew across the room. So our lives, <laughs> everything we owned is. Right now, Tina and her family are living in a transitional living center while they sort out what their next move is. All their worldly possessions sitting behind boarded up doors and windows, not knowing when or if she'll be able to go back for her things. Tina and the rest of the employees at Lions, Tigers and Bears have set up a GoFundMe page for the bear necessities and to get them back on their feet while she figures out what's next. The sanctuary saying she's a dedicated employee who's never missed a day of work. While she works with real tigers, she's hoping to have a chance to see if her porcelain ones made it through the wreck. You seem, you know, very optimistic. I'm trying to be. <laughs> I praise God for that. <laughs> I'm grateful for anybody, for everyone who's been helping and it will help and stuff. I'm so grateful. Tim Blodgett, CBS 8. And again, that GoFundMe, we have a link up at CBS8.com and wishing her the best of luck. Absolutely. At least we admire the spirit, yeah. if not anything else that she has right now. Absolutely. Still ahead tonight.